Well, before the break, I talked about that we need to redefine love. Maybe you have a great definition of love and you're completely healthy, uh, happy <laughs> and healthy in love. And maybe there are still certain things that you also want to stretch into because I think love is such a powerful energy. In fact, I believe it is the most powerful energy in the planet, in the universe, and it's transcending any misunderstandings. It's able to heal. It's able to connect. It's able just to warm and bring light to the darkest places. So love is powerful. We know that love is something we deeply, naturally desire. We can see it even in the animal kingdom that there is just a natural tendency to love. And I think often animals are better at it than humans. So why don't we just take a moment and talk internally to that part of you that is still confused, that still doesn't really know about love, that still may hold on to those old patterns. And I would like you just to consider some other aspects of love that you may have never thought about that may be very helpful. So why don't you just close your eyes for this little affirmation or meditation Focus on your heart. Focus on that. What is love in your heart? And just allow yourself to think about someone or something that you do have love for. Let this meditation be a way for you to connect to love. Maybe just an animal that you grew up with. It may be a friend. It may be a family member. Just notice someone that you feel very easy to love. And then notice that love is good. Love is that light in your heart. Love gives you energy. Love can make you feel more expansive, more of service. Love is the gift that we are all here to share with each other. Love is abundant. Love is all around us. It's like oxygen. There is no lack of love. There is only a lack of awareness. Be aware of where love is just coming to you. It may be through a random act of kindness. It may be through some very dear friend who has been trying to reach out, but somehow you were not responding. It may be through a parent that you may have treated the worst because it's the one person that never goes anywhere and holds on to just embracing you for who you are. Love is abundant and it doesn't have to come from one person, but it has many sources. Love flows best when it is given and received in the same way. So allow yourself to be aware of what you are giving and what you're willing to give to yourself so that you know that you can also receive openly that same way of loving. 
Wanting to be loved while you reject yourself is asking the other person to give to you what you don't want to give to yourself. And no matter how much someone pours inside of you, it will never stick because it is your job to heal that void, that hole inside of you. And you can do that by turning your awareness towards yourself. It is not the job of someone else to make you fulfill your needs. It is your job to go fulfilled into relationships and give that what you feel you're here to give. Because the more love you have, the more you love yourself, the more you feel your heart is full, the more you can give and the more will come back. Love is meant to be easy and not complicated. And if it's complicated, there is just something that is blocking the flow of love. And it may be a block that has nothing to do with you. Someone's inability to love you has nothing to do with your lovability. Love is safe and love is sacred. Feed yourself daily with that nourishment of love and kindness for yourself. And no matter whether you are by yourself or in a relationship, stay self-reliant when it comes to love. It is too easy to lose ourselves in someone else and making that person that source that makes us feel good and wanted and worthy. And we know that ultimately we become from that full person who has something to give, the empty person who is a beggar for a little bit of attention. So while you can give with 100% from your heart the love and the kindness and the gifts that are inside of you, make also sure that you are with 100% giving all of those things back to yourself. And if we all do that, love will never be in shortage. If we all do that, love will never be associated with need or lack and pain. When we all do that, love will be just what it's meant to be, a joyous sharing of ourselves and our light. And I want to end with one of those wonderful quotes of Rumi, that sage who said, our task is not to seek for love but merely to seek and find all the barriers within ourselves that we have built against it. So take today and the weeks to come as an opportunity to share more love with the world and yourself, and also to be willing to see and appreciate the many ways love is coming back to you. Until next time, take care.